got uh, Kerry Evans on the near post with De Jong. Ironside up with Woods. Oh, he's dropped it and it's been hooked over by Dunford. Well, the captain will be disappointed with that because Chris Woods dropped the ball. And Malcolm Dunford had a wonderful opportunity to put New Zealand into the lead. Woods up with Ironside, doesn't hold it and hooked over by Dunford. Well, he's got three forwards on the bench. Ian Wright, Brian Dean and John Solarco. And he was pleased with Solarco's introduction on Saturday night in Australia. At the moment, it's Lineker with Evans. And Lineker gets away, but can't produce a shot to trouble the goalkeeper. Declan Edge to take it. Chris Woods comes to punch. There's Halligan, who's come through the match well, bearing in mind he was doubtful. He's been troubled by a bad back, Danny Halligan. But as Declan Edge takes this corner, Woods does well through the crowd with the punch, but uh, it fell straight to Halligan. It's going to be wise to take it. over England appealing for the corner they thought a defender put it there but uh, Jeff Thomas was in the thick of it and once again it did seem as though a set play was England's best chance of scoring Wise curled the ball into that crowd of players and one of those heads well it might have been by the New Zealanders secondly Pierce to take the free kick for England Dean the obvious target Lineker up alongside him there he is Dean and Wise was there and didn't make the most of the opening, Dennis Wise. There haven't been many chances, but it was touched on and it was a clear opportunity. He pulled it across the face of the goal. There was no way he was looking square for Gary Lineker. That was a shot and it missed the target. It was a long free kick, touched on by Dean. And I think Brian Dean's done not bad in this second half, but uh, Wise first touch was quite good but the shot for David Platt has now gone into a near post position as well Dean on the far side the drive was by Solaco it's blocked here's Wise Dean far side again and Solaco's in there by Dennis Wise and Ryan Dean headed it perfect one back across the goal on the half volley John Solarco slides in back off the crossbar and this chance and shot by Solarco on the half volley came in the 45th minute of the second half we're now in stoppage time was uh, rising all the time from uh, Danny Halligan. Well, they've really enjoyed themselves, the New Zealanders. They'll see this as a moral victory, won't they, Trevor, to hold England nil-nil in a full international. Well, thoroughly deserved to. I, I think it would have been a bit cruel if they conceded that last-minute goal because they've battled all the way through. And as I say, England, on the day, the quality hasn't been there. They've lacked the, the passing, as I said, has been poor. And the creative passing from midfield is something you know, without Gascoigne there, he's, he's very short. But it's Declan Edge. And an inspired run well into stoppage time by the New Zealand number nine, stretching Earl Barrett. Forward by Thomas to Lineker. Is there time yet for England? Here's Wise. Plenty of players forward here. There's the cross. chance of a win that is and 
and England suddenly broke clear on the right hand side and the captain scores his 41st international goal to give England a victory that frankly didn't seem likely Paul Parker I think with the cross and Lineker steals in at the near post and finishes in typical fashion so it's New Zealand nil, England won in Auckland what was a fairly shabby England performance in parts ending on a high note when Gary Lineker scored in the third minute of stoppage time to creep a little nearer to the England scoring record Graham Taylor meantime sets a record of 10 games unbeaten from the start of his management reign but that shouldn't detract from the fact that for long periods New Zealand were England's equals today and put up a proud performance and England looked for long spells in the match heavy legged and rather lifeless but they did win with that last gasp goal from the captain Gary Lineker.